Okay, so we're going to try that one again. Hopefully, this one works just fine. Give me one second. Yeah, great. I don't know what went on there, but there you go. We're in now anyway, regardless. Good, good, good. Now let me just, I'm very new to the whole streaming live side of things, so you're going to have to bear with me. Future ones will obviously get much easier, but... So how's everyone? Run out a good day? Okay, so the aim of this stream is to help indie developers to promote their games. Uh, and I will do that by playing them live on stream, but also by providing uh, some feedback, some constructive criticism onto what can make their game better, uh, how I, I won't concentrate on the things that are, are basically wrong with the game, but I will make them known. Uh, in my opinion, of course. Uh, and the reason that I feel like I can do this is I have I have run about 25 years in the software development industry. I run a very successful uh, mobile app agency in central Liverpool uh, where we deal with some very large clients from Sony PlayStation to AO and Air Charge. There are many many years i've got on different kind of uh platforms where i've got a lot of experience so in my day-to-day -day job i manage uh my own team of developers who produce these applications i'm also a developer myself you you probably know from my videos that i've recently sprung into game development with unity but before that, I was primarily a web developer, back-end-based APIs, and iOS and Android. Um, but now I just manage my team of doing that, and I try to get more involved in the game development side. So from, from my perspective, I've just got a lot of years under the belt of working with software in general. Um, so take, take my opinion as, as you want to take it, but... I'd like to think that the people that I'm reviewing their games for, I'm actually going to benefit and give a bit of help to. So we've had a couple of games uh, sent over for, for review. Um, I'm going to go through them in a minute, but people are watching the stream uh, and they haven't actually subscribed yet. If you could just go ahead and hit the subscribe and the, and the bell um, notification button, because I'm trying to subscribers uh, before you can actually go ahead and create a custom name so that's my goal for today is to try and hit 100 100 subscribers now i know i may not do that but it's it's worth a go right so let's have a look at the games that we've got to play today so we have this demo here called gory uh cuddly carnage demo uh which i believe is is literally just the demo um, I'm going to just switch to, uh, we have another one called Bunny Hill Horror. And I'm just going to go to the description for that so you can see it.
Okay, let me switch to that. Uh, so you can see here we have Super Armand, which is a, a, a neat looking platformer game. And also we have Bunny Hill Horror, which is a visual novel adventure. Now, I don't play much of these, but I thought uh, I would give it a go considering the developer reached out to me on Twitter. So I thought I would actually give that a go. And I also have a new section on here, which I'm not sure how well this is going to go, but it's a mobile section. Which is here where you can see I've got the ability to control Android device. And I also, if there was any, which I don't have any today, but there would be some iOS features on here as well. So there's a couple of different things that I can do. So. I think I'll start off and I will jump straight into the games from Steam uh, and we'll give this gory, cuddly carnage demo a go and I'll give it a little playthrough and then once I've done that I'll just take a look at what things I think could be done a little better. Maybe there is nothing, maybe there is, uh, but we'll find out either way. So let's go ahead and give that a play. Can everybody still hear me okay? Right, one second. I'm actually struggling to. Just bear with me one second. I just need to be able to switch this game over to the next screen. Is everybody able to hear the audio of the game and everything correctly as well? I actually really like the style of this game too. Okay, so we got some neat switches on the board. Uh, we've got a boost. Both buttons are boosts. Oh, and a slow motion, that's cool. Right, so let's try and do. Here you go. Go. I'm not fitted to toy now. Oh, 
Okay. I think I have to get up there, so let's try and do that. This is very fluid, the, the character controller on this is really nice. Great use of lighting on this too. Hey, where am I going here? Okay. Now am I stuck? Really cool effects on that. Now where do I go? Am I missing something here? To do a couple of jumps. Let's try and get over there again. Okay. So the the character controller on this is really really slick. The, it's very responsive. And the world is actually really nice too. I love the use of the neon colours. Uh, it's, it's actually something that I'm building into a game that I'm working on right now uh, called Deadheads. Now, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here though. Am I missing something? Can some can anybody else see where I'm going wrong here? I know this must be frustrating. Okay, it looks like I need to go up. Yeah, I don't know how to ride that coloured path though. Good call. That's great. Reminds me of the old Tony Hawk games. told off by the game. Who else is fed up with me being terrible at games? <laughs> oh, come on, Will. Alright, we'll do this, we'll do this, we'll do this. After we die. Whoa! <laughs> I 
Well, I, I, I owe it to the people that I'm reviewing the game to at least give it a good shot, don't I, Peggy? <laughs> Oh, I'm terrible at this. This is really fun, though. Not when you keep doing that, it's not. Okay. That's actually got me a bit heated, that one. That's actually a really good game. I, I really enjoyed it. I do feel like I need to play this a little bit more just to get a bit more of a feel to it. Um, but the character controller, it's very, very smooth. Everything moves around really nice. The camera controller is really nice too. The use of neon lights around the whole scene. It's very, very good. It fits the, fits the game perfectly. Uh, it's got some... Retro aspects of, well, I say retro, there's, there's a new version of it coming out soon, but Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Uh, the fact that they have the ability to grind up those light bars, as you've seen. Um, in fact, I'll just switch back to the game just so we can know what I'm talking about. So, so these grinding bars here are, are really nice. Um, <laughs> I've missed it again. They, they add... A real nice aspect of light to the to the game that's already got a lot of lighting in there it's got some really cool features such as the slow motion uh, and the boost is really cool as well now i am going to actually try to get up here because i think i owe it to the developers to actually get up to that second part come on you can do this there we go Okay. Well, I know what I'm doing now, so that's all right. Whoa! Oh, got me there. All right, I've got this now. I've got this now. Now we touch your wow. What could be more enjoyable than chopping off a ton of unicorns? Let's do this. We gotta find that ship. This is one of the dogs. More unicorns. This is a nice war. Ah, unicorns. Slow motion is really cool. Nice. Proceed the level by getting more grinding. Nice. Love it. Nice. This is a nice little tutorial area, actually. Uh, it's demonstrating a lot of things that the game can do. Oh, I just do them wrong. Oh, well, that's cool. Very cool. Do I refill it by going into that? Yes. Oh, wonderful. Thank <laughs> you. 
unicorn carnage. What's everybody else thinking of this game so far? I'm really enjoying it. Let's try and get up to the main guy up here. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit gory. It's a very good game though, it's very nice. What if I missed? Did I miss the unicorn? There he is. Come on. Come to daddy. Do a nice slow motion kill in a second. So that was actually really, really good. I really enjoyed that game. And my hopes were that I was going to be able to find and pick lots of things that are wrong with certain games so that I could offer my guidance and support, but uh, the developers here really look like they knew exactly what they were doing. So the game, you, you're right, Geram. Is it Geram, Geram? It's uh, it's very trippy. Uh, the use of neon lights is is great. It fits the game really well. I like the fact that you've got like uh, lovely unicorns that you can just go and take them out. That's that's really good. Um, the hoverboard feels very nice to use. As I said before, the character controller is great. Uh, and you're right, you do you do pick up the moves really quick. As you've seen, I was struggling quite a lot. I was falling down, I wasn't able to grind. And then that second part of the game, I actually picked it back up and, and I was able to do a lot more on there. Uh, and I think it's a game that I would actually, well, I know it's a game that I would continue to actually play through. Uh, so that's, I was very impressed with that. Very good. So let me close off this one. Okay, so the next game that we have is, let's have a look. It's a game called Super Armand. And games, aha! This, this is this is Mr. Garen Brom uh, in the chat. So, so yeah, thanks for the uh, for the redeem code for this, Garen. Um, I have put this on now. What one issue that I had? I actually loaded this game up before just to, to try and play with it. And one thing, one issue that I did have with it is straight away is the is the music. I can't actually find any way to actually turn the music off other than 
muting my desktop audio on here. Um, is Am I missing something here? Is, is there a way for me to go ahead and turn the music down at least, or? Let's wait for you to reply on that. Escape menu has audio mute. I don't want to mute. So. Escape menu. Is that when you're in game? Oh, okay. Yeah. Armand wakes up in a cold sweat. Panic. Something was not right. Felt uneasy. Yosa was in danger. Yosa, I am coming for you. Okay, switch back to. You can't actually see the game, can you? Okay. Oh, the music's not actually overpowering here. Anyway, that's fine. Uh, ah, okay. So, personal preference. <laughs> I'm not able to control it with the controller. You saw how terrible I was already with the controller. So imagine how ter terrible I'm going to be with the keyboard. But let's let's get into that. Okay. Ah, double jump. Okay. Ooh, only double jump. And you're teasing me with a platform up there. Okay. Maybe I can get that in a bit. H for heal. And just jump in. Okay. The art style on this is really nice as well. Um, I'll double jump on that. I need to step my game up a bit. You guys are, uh, are killing it with the art styles today. Let's see what I can do. Okay, I suppose I'm supposed to put that over there. The controller feels actually really nice for this as well because one thing that you do find with a lot of um, games that you play from uh, indie developers in general are uh, they they s sometimes struggle to get the gravity right on a character controller, particularly on the jump and the fall. Um, but this actually feels like it's weighted quite nicely. Look around for some secrets. Have I got any secrets to find in here, Garan? I really like the mime as well. He's cool. Ooh. It was a sunny day. Hello. Her mom and his girlfriend do so. We shy. Hello. Happened this summer. He knew that this was love. He wanted to be the rest of his life. Day after, one received news from great mind. <laughs> Teacher. Could you guys hear the audio on this before? Because I just turned, realized I had desktop audio turned off. So I hope it wasn't off the actual game. Very easy to pick up the control for this game. As you can see, I'm flying through these now. Maybe.
maybe I'm better with a keyboard than I thought. And I see more coins up there. I'm a collector, so I like to make sure that I pick up all of the coins or anything that I can within the game. Go back up here. I wonder if there's a bonus for getting all of the coins in the game. Me trying to speak, uh, trying to speak French. Uh, oui, oui, chérie. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very, very poorly. I might add. Okay. Oh. Oh no. I died, and it took me back to the. Do we have checkpoints in this, Gary? And if we don't have checkpoints, then... I've just lost all of that progress just by, by dying once. I'd have liked to have seen some kind of a checkpoint, maybe. Because now my OCD needs to collect these coins again. Oh! Ooh. Damn me. So do, so do we actually have, um, have we got any ideas for enemies that we're looking for in the game or is it, is it more of a playthrough solely without the enemies and just collect things and have the story? Let me try and get somewhere without dying. One thing I'd like to see here is this is a place where you could die um, and what I have seen in in a lot of previous games where something like this exists let me just pause that for a second in fact I'll just turn the audio down a little so one thing I've seen in previous previous games such as uh, the likes of Mario etc for a platform is the use of the down arrow, um, which will actually just, uh, it will just put the camera down a little bit so you can see what's below you rather than having to drop down and see what's there. Now, I, I know I could go here and I can see that there's a hole there, but in some levels, probably that won't be possible to drop down to the left of something to be able to see what's down. So the use of the down key to just move that camera down a little bit uh, could actually work quite well. But I know that you've got some coins down there to try and trick me into falling down the gap and you're not going to make me do it. Uh, but the use of the double jump obviously has fallen, I'd be able to jump up. Oh, I nearly did. So just something to bear in mind. Just one, one small, one smaller criticism. Um, it's well, it's not really a criticism. It's just, a, it's just something I've noticed. Is there's, there's a lot of coins in the game, and whilst that's good to be able to collect these, I know you've got 240 to collect within the game. Um, I mean, if that's the aim of game, that's fine. Um, it just seems like there's a few too many in there, um, and I can't can't go back for the level which is probably intended uh, but I can't go back up now so I've, I'm gonna have to finish the level with 193 out of 240 you little trickster Our level Paris the next day haha uh -huh. well, hello bye my love I will, I will be counting the seconds until it comes again he leaned in and kissed her she smiled at 
Gone in for the kiss. It's only the second level. Cheeky, cheeky. And soon after, met with Etienne, the great mind teacher. Etienne was a master of craft. And for a long time, he has realized that the world is changing. And he had to do something about it. Great voiceovers, by the way. Oh, why does that drop down there? Part of the level, maybe? I'm not sure what that drop down is. Okay, let's try move this over there. The art style in this is really, really nice. I love the past the pastel colours, the pastel effect. Hmm. Do anything there now? Hmm. Right, let's see what I need these crates for. Was the, oh, oh. How do I kill these jump? Ah, yes, typical Mario style. Nice enemies. I almost feel sorry killing him with his glasses like that. Oh, box. Ah! I can't now, can I? No, I killed the box. That's, a, that's what I do. I kill boxes. Some collider uh, issues there, I think. Just as a bit of insight. Feels very nice, though. Maybe I can get back up there now. This is where the actual resetting of the level if you die comes in handy. Let's try that. One thing that it wasn't immediately um, apparent to me that, that that was an actual button. I can see it now you've told me, um, but I think I wasn't really sure that that was a button. I, I can hear the click when I put it on, but I think maybe a little bit of animation to the button when you put the crate on it. Uh, would be a nice little touch. What do other people watch and think of this? I think it's got a nice feel to it. The controller feels nice. The, as I said before, the gravity feels nice. Uh, what I would like to see, and this is something that will help your game with the future, this is something I know as matter of fact. When you, um, in fact, let me just go ahead and pause this a second. Turn that off. 
when you um, have enemies in the game or where you have any kind of interactable elements within the game, it's it's a, v a very good thing to put um, some kind of exaggerated effect on something. So if you jump on the guy's head, then he, or at the moment he just kind of cracks into a couple of pieces, and the effect is quite cool. Um, however, having that more exaggerated effect. Uh, where maybe the character can bounce really high off the top of his head after doing it, after seeing him kind of explode into multiple. That that kind of works really well, and, and it's it's known that noise. It's it's known as a mechanism that actually gets users to come back for more because it it releases some of the endorphins in the brain when the when the players actually play in the game. So they get a little hit out of it, the same thing as getting a like on Facebook or Twitter. Um, and because of that, they go back to the game to play some more. So it's just those little kind of subtleties that you can add to a character controller that just bring a little bit more out to the game and make people want to play it a bit more. Uh, but I'll stop rabbiting on now and I'll continue to play. Yeah, game juice. Try and get to the end of this to see if I can actually go in for in for the kiss again with Wee oui, Wee oui, Shari. Yeah, so you, you've got the stars that appear on the head, which is cool. Just a bit more of a bounce. I think that would work work really well. Oh, cheeky. That's another situation where there's the leap of faith there, where the down key, uh, where you can just, uh, and as, Paggy, uh, as Peggy said there, the ability for the character to look down as well. It just demonstrates that there's something else down there, so it gives you a little bit of insight before you go ahead and jump. Oh, hello. Our culture is in danger. You see, the as time has passed, passed and a new world, world has become, become more convenient. Their food, their food has, has become, become our enemy. enemy. They are, they are bad, bad for us. us. Junk, Junk of food is our greatest, greatest enemy. enemy. So we need to defeat if we are to survive. Five. Okay. How many levels do we have on this, Garon? So, just want to point something out that's a little bit confusing is the the design here on the on the gap where you can fall and you can die on the previous level I think it was on the level before where you had to put the the crate on the side and then jump up the wall and put it on the switch. This kind of effect here, this kind of effect here was used. Um, where the character could actually just go down a little bit just above his kind of knee line but I'm guessing here in fact I'll just test that out if I fall down here the player is going to die yeah so the difference there between the levels uh, is a little bit unhinged where it, it appears that it's the same kind of same kind of design where you can go down it a little bit but in fact no you die when you go down it so maybe a different a different art style for the actual places where you can fall down in comparison nice so you can see, in theory based on the design that we have here I, I'm walking almost on it I know we've got a platform here but I'm walking almost on that gap there. So I should, in theory, be able to kind of go there. I'm not going to, because you'll kill me, because I know how tricky you've been. Oh, different enemy, nice. And of course, hot dog you need to do twice. Oh, where are 
bring it. Oh, lucky hot dog. I really love the art style here. Did did you actually do the art yourself, Garen? And she's in danger. She woke, woke up, up in a cold sweat. The old sir, sir, I'm coming, coming for you. you. Armand told, told Etienne, Etienne what he, he experienced, experienced and told the teacher that he needed to head back, back to, to his home. home. Okay, I'm going to stop that there. Okay, so, so overall, I really enjoy playing that game. It feels like a feels like a relevant platformer. Uh, the art style is is very original. Uh, it's, it's it's very fresh. There are a few things with that kind of art style that uh, I picked out and said that there's um, a couple of differences that could be with the different types of platforms, just so that you completely understand if you're able to stand on it or not. A uh, couple of things with the mechanism, such as the uh, the crate going onto the button. It'd be I'm not sure how you would do it with the art style, but it would be nice to understand that that is, in fact, a button. Or even if you aren't going to change the art style of that button, if the first couple of levels were like in the previous game we played uh, had some kind of tutorial element to it where the first time you meet a new element within the game um it's it's explained so maybe there's a little animated arrow pointing down to it to say you know push crate onto here or you know however that is it onboards the user um as if the player misses out on things that you've put into your game purposely then you're obviously you're limiting the play to what the user can see straight away. So you're taking away some of the elements of the play for the for the player by not telling them that they're able to actually do something. In most cases, things can be quite self-explanatory. You'll look at a platform, you know, you can jump on it. Uh, but where that button was concerned, I didn't know that I needed to do anything there. So I'd, I would suggest just with some of the levels that there are some kind of onboarding elements, just just little subtle things that can just say, do this for the first time, and then you don't you can forget about it then and move on to the next thing, and then users should be able to pick it up from there. Uh, the the checkpoints uh, that you did mention, I, I I did see you mention something in there that there's the end of level checkpoint. Um, the the levels aren't crazy crazy long so it i suppose in the grand scheme of things it's it's not bad that you uh that you if the player dies you take them back to the beginning of the level but what i would suggest is um not removing all of the coins that they've collected within the level uh because then they have to go back through the entire thing and go through all of those coins again which after somebody's completed a lot of a level and then they suddenly die, say for instance they they collect seventy five percent of the, of the coins and then they then they die and go back to the beginning, the the user going back to get another seventy five percent of those coins is uh, likely not going to happen in most cases. So so you limit the the replay of the game by actually expecting the player to do too much. So I would suggest there. Uh, having some kind of um, individual checkpoints just throughout the level uh, that once you pass through them, I, I think Mario does a really good job of that actually. When you pass through a checkpoint, it makes a little ding and then you know that that person, that you know that that's the next place that you're going to go to if you die and all of the progress on the coins, etc. That's that's actually saved with it as well. So just my, my opinion, I think that that would actually work quite a bit nicer. Um, let's try and get some comments from from people in the actual chat as well. Uh, Peggy, uh, do we have an, anything from you? Do you do you think there's everything I said is right or wrong, or do you you got any opinions? I know we've only got a couple of people on at the moment because obviously it's a new channel. I'm I'm getting new, uh, involved in things from scratch, so. 
I think I'll just give a, a minute or two for, for anyone to kind of reply in the chat. But So, Garan, um, what I've just explained there, um, what I'm trying to do. Oh, here we go. Jazz Jackrabbit. Jazz Jackrabbit. I don't think I've ever heard of that. So I'm going to actually look at that now. Jazz Jackrabbit. Okay. It's quite cool. In fact, I may as well switch to the screen so you can see looking at it. Yeah, I see. Yeah, some, some neat fluid motion on that too. So... So Geran, is is it Geran or Geran? Just put a J or a or a G in the chat just so I know how to pronounce it better. Um I think over, overall the, the game was great. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh didn't enjoy dying and having to collect the coins again, but I, I did really enjoy the game. Um is is this a, a completed game or is this uh well, is this kind of where it's at now and that's gonna stay like that, or are you thinking about developing it more? So Garan, Garan, okay. So so yeah, I, I thought it was really good. Uh, hopefully from hopefully from the the feedback that I've given you, you, you can take something from it. Um, as I say, uh, the the only thing that that qualifies me to actually come up with any suggestions for any kind of games like this is is 25 years in in development software development in general uh, not game development but i've also been a gamer for that uh, period of time as well so I, I do i do know a lot of mechanics that work uh, but particularly in software i do have a very large insight into player behaviors um and the the enticing gameplay or the enticing usage of an app uh, to keep a user coming back more and more. So I hope I was able to give you some constructive feedback and I, and I hope you'll take it with a pinch of salt. Um, if I said anything negative about the game, I don't think I did, but if I did, um, it's it was intended to be um, just purely constructive to give you something to take forward and move into the next one. Peggy says you could have a checkpoint with a French flag like halfway through and yeah, save the coins. Yeah. Yeah. French flag would work well uh, and you'd be able to fit that into the art style pretty well as well. Yeah, that would look nice. So yeah, I, I think that that would be, be really good, but, but great job. Uh, character controller feels really, really nice. The, the gravity on the controller feels, uh, feels natural as, as it should do. Um, the, it was nice to see some enemies coming in into the into the later levels. That was good. It would have been nice to, I suppose, if there was anything else, I'd say it would have been nice to. Uh, with a lot of platformer games, it's it's good to find some secret areas and find uh, some collectibles within the levels. Uh, all that does to the user is it pushes the user to actually go through the level a couple of more times, or even to go slower through the level. To actually experiment with different parts of the level of the platforms etc to see if there's any secrets to be found um so it could be in your case there could be some kind of uh letters written between a couple of different people that you want to collect that maybe develops the story a little bit more so within each level there could be you know x amount of uh collectible letters that they need to collect um and, and that just gives 
another element to the actual gameplay of the game so it's not just about collecting those coins and getting to the end of the level there's actually more things to do to it and if you're revealing other parts of a, of a story or maybe some kind of romance between characters etc you can reveal those in those collectible letters and it just it what it does is it gets the gamer to sit down and start reading the collectibles and when they collect them if you've got a little kind of uh bit of uh uh, text within there that the player can read it involves them more in in the story as they go through it so i hope that makes sense but it's, it's from playing all the platform games that i have done and i have played a lot of platform games it is nice to be able to uh to have some collectibles in there i'm not sure if people agree with me in the chat So I think I think the next game that we've got to play is the Bunny Hill Horror. Now this is uh, this is on itch.io. Yeah, I think you should, Garen. It's it's it's. It, the very good additions to the game but but by all means um just make sure you credit me and give me my check for that yeah <laughs> all right so let's move on to the next game uh we got bunny hill horror by crunchy fried games and uh, now this is a uh horror visual novel adventure as described by the author here uh, it is played in the browser i'm not sure on a child if i'm able to full screen the game or not but i'll maybe zoom into it or something if I can't. So let's go ahead and run the game. So what I love about Unity, the ability to actually build WebGL games and just have them run in the browser, it's great. Whilst we're waiting for that to load, um Peggy, I remember in a in a previous uh in a previous video you watched of mine on a tutorial, uh you were mentioning that you're going to use some of it for your uh for the game that you were working on. How did you get on with that? Did you do any of it or is it still on hold or? I have to refresh the page. It doesn't seem to be wanting to load that. Hmm. Okay, it looks like this game isn't going to load. Yeah. I'll give it one more refresh just to try so that I can say I give it a good shot. Did actually work this afternoon because I did load it. Uh, what kind of shooter is it, Peggy? Is it a uh, 2D, 3D space shooter? Just so you know as well, uh, Geran, uh, when I do another version of this um, Let's Play with Indie Games, I will also talk about the previous week. Um, so I'll, I'll push forward the game again in next week's stream and just, you know, announce what I did last week and just maybe have a little kind of clip of it in there as well. So hopefully it can help. It, it may not. I haven't got many followers right now or, or many people watching and stuff, but if it's on YouTube, people will generally pick it up at some point. So as my channel gets bigger, I'm sure more people will uh, join in to watch. But, but yeah, there's, there's, there's not many right now. But Okay, this Bunny Hill Horror seems to have moved a tiny little bit. Um, so either it's an extremely large game or my internet is... Uh, it's only 46 meg.
see if I can download it quicker. I'm all for supporting developers, but in this instance where I'm trying to promote them, I'd prefer to have kind of redeem code sent. So maybe something's wrong with itch.io at the moment because hitting the download button there as well is taking really long. Okay, so we're going to have to give that game a miss, I think. Okay, so let's move back over here. Uh, so the I did have a couple more games, but uh, the developers uh, failed to send me uh, redeem codes to be able to to go ahead and get those so i do have another game on android to try it's a it's a picture of this game where you've got to identify the celebrities from the picture so it's not kind of um animated physics based platform or anything like that but i i asked people for games to play and uh we had this as a as a game to play so let's take a look let me try and get the android stuff working so i should be able to yeah that actually works quite well so let's see how this plays so we know that this is george cleaning Ah, yeah, of course, Garen. Yeah, that's that's what it will be, uh, because that was uh, last weekend. The weekend just gone, wasn't it? Uh, and they are actually doing kind of the reviews for them. So yeah, that's that's why itch.io will be very slow right now because that's one of the more popular game jams as well. I'm actually thinking of doing a game jam myself coming up. Uh, but I couldn't make it for for the GMTK one, but I will look to doing that in the future. Uh, is Angelina Jolie? Responsive buttons. I could do with being a little bit bigger, um, but then again, that could just be because of my fat fingers. This is Lint Eastwood. Oh, you did. Uh, you uh, you participated. Uh, what what game did you use as the uh, as the game, Garen? Whilst I'm doing the stream, I may as well go ahead and uh, load that. Well, if I can load it up and uh, try and play that too. Okay, this is uh, not much to say about a game like this. I guess it's it's basic. It works. It's you know it's it's decent. It works. Um, it's just kind of guess the celebrity. Uh, you can build up your coins here. You can get coins by doing various things, but what can you use the coins for? Let's have a look. Use a hint. Ah, oh, okay. So I do actually know the answer to this, but I'll use some coins just to see how that goes. I'll go. I always so the alert that just popped up then to, uh, for a rating. I always I always hate it when the ratings come up as um, I like it, I hate it, or or later. So let later's fine, or I like it is fine. But the the polar opposite of uh, I like it, I hate it. It it reminds me of of those posts that you see on Facebook um, with things like um share this post um if you love the face of this dog or continue to scroll if you wish the dog would die or you know in in the same vein as that it's i don't like the exact polar opposite side of things so it, it it's better to me and it makes me want to do it more if i see something like 
I like the game or not now or something and then just go back to that later because you, you've got um, a later option on there. So the negative option that's in the middle of it doesn't really need to be there because they're either going to go, they're either going to click the button and go ahead and rate it, or they're going to say later. Regardless, um, you could have something else on that that says never, maybe. Uh, but but I would just remove those from those three options and make it two, and not have the the negative. And I've got some music being played. Yeah. Yeah, so, so that's that. I'm gonna I'm gonna close off this because, in terms of gameplay, uh, there's not so much I can talk about on that. Um, so let's go back to here. Uh, so let's have a look at the comments. Uh, where is this audio coming from? Ah, of course. There we go. There we go. All right. So uh, let's look at the comments. Uh, Peggy, you say sci-fi inside the ship shooting. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Nice. So, so I, I can visualize a uh, cockpit maybe. Um, tell you what, what would be really cool. I'm not sure if one's been done yet, but in terms of a uh, kind of an, an inside the ship shooter, you've got like the microsoft flight simulator that's very very popular um because you can you can do the complete control of the plane etc and go fly wherever you want basically uh but i haven't actually seen one for a spaceship for, for a shooter where you can actually go in and control um obviously nobody really knows what the inside of a spaceship is as well do they uh but it would be nice to be able to go in and and have some kind of visual controls that you can you can play around with uh, like you would with a flight simulator. I think that would be quite cool. Now, maybe there's a gap in the market for that. I don't know. Uh, Geran, uh, so you submitted a game called World of Hack and Slash. Uh, hi, Crunchy Fry Games. Uh, yeah, I tried to, uh, Crunchy Fry Games. I, I tried to play your game, um, but itch.io for some reason it well I think we've we've established this because of GMTK. It's it's very, very slow at the moment, so nothing would load. So I think what I'll do is I'll keep that one in mind for, for maybe next week when there's not so many people hitting the itch.io servers. Um but I did try and play it. Uh the guys in the comments will vouch for me. <laughs> but I, I did try and play it. So Garen, I submitted a game called World of Hack and Slash, all made in forty hours. Well, I mean, let's let's try and go back onto Twitch IO, and if if it loads, um, I'll take a look at World of Hack and Slash, uh, and I'll also take a look at Crunchy Fried Games uh, game again as well. So let's take a look. I mean, the, the website itself is responsive. It's just when we get into the actual games. Let's try it again. Oh, there you go. There we go. Gonna zoom in because I'm not sure if you can go full screen on these. Okay, so I, I did load this up before, which is why you can see continue, but I'm gonna try and just Can anybody uh give me any information on what I need to do to enlarge the screen on here? Can I make this full screen? Can you even make a game on itch.io full 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 size? Don't know whether you can. So let's let's try this.
That's about as large effort. No, it, w it won't do it for that. Okay, let's let's try that. So let's let's. I'm not going to continue because I did have a little play before. I'm going to go to new game. So welcome to the Bunny Hill Horror. It says check out all of these items um, and then ring the bell when you're ready. So we'll check the the phone first. Mercia Co mobile phone. Your voice will go. Your voice will go miles with our mobiles. Use the sign to check your messages wherever you like, or our cartoon dog. I <laughs> see your selfies. The world's your oyster, or it would be if you had any credit. Story of my life. Let's go in. Oh, Dave's message. Come on, let's have a look. Hi, Dave. Do not forget pub quiz. Seven o'clock, Clayton Tavern, some weird rich guys quiz master practice. Hurry up and fill your interview. Uh, okay, let's have a look. Look about this. Well, let's put the phone away first. Let's see. Where is it supposed to be that one there, Crunchy? Because I'm clicking that and nothing's happening. The letter informs you in no uncertain terms that your friendly local employment office put themselves out considerably. Okay. And a bus ticket. Ah, nice, clever little design on that. Because as we know, every single bus ticket that you get uh, has issues printing. I don't know why, but they should really be able to sort these things out in uh, 2020. But they do always print out like this. So attention to detail. Yeah, that doesn't go full screen if I hit that, Crunchy. It just... It makes the noise but does nothing else so yeah may, maybe on the download version i did actually try the download version before as well however the uh the website wasn't performing great but that's fine let's go ahead and ring the bell okay step off the bus for the same feeling i'm not going to read all of this out because that will get very boring, just hearing my voice the whole time. Uh, time to get over this. You look up to take the strength from the cosmos, and the cosmos responds with the first drops of rain. Do I want to walk north up the hill, walk west along the stream, walk east along the stream? Oh, I don't want to turn back. Well, I don't want to turn back. Let's let's see if let's see if the viewers want to guide the way this story is going to go. Uh, Garan, uh, Peggy, do you want to go north, east, or west? First answer gets it. All right, north it is. Let's go. North up the hill. There is no path up the hill, and your best, smartest shoes prove to be hazardous companions on the muddy quest. That was, well, you both said north, so that's fine. Uh, control plus, I did. Um, and I'll just show you what happens when I do that more here now. It actually cuts off the side, uh, the side of the game. Which isn't ideal. Um, perhaps I can do it another way. Now this might work. Now it does get a, get it a bit bigger. So that is a bit bigger on the screen, so that could potentially work for now. Let's 
Okay. So, you just about keep your balance from the umpteenth slip, and then you notice the view of the town suburbs, which flickers a spark of joy. Let's go another one. So, we can either go, the metal fence to your east doesn't look welcoming, and the sight of a man standing on the bridge. Yeah, I agree, Garen. It's, uh, it's quite intriguing to actually move on to the next. That, that's, that's what these games are all about, I guess, the whole um, the whole novel side of it. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. I like it. It's a, a change of pace from... From a typical uh, full action game, I guess it's it's nice. I like it. So we can uh, we notice the view of the town suburbs, which feel like a spark of joy. Less welcoming is the sight of a man standing on the bridge who's dressed in black. Doesn't look as though he has any plans to move. The metal fence to your east doesn't look welcoming either. Okay, so we can go north up the hill, west clockwise around the hill, or south back down. I think we'll go north. Well, I think we'll continue north up the hill. You reach the top, panting and muddy. That sounds just like me. But feeling a real sense of achievement as Bunny Hill Castle looms above you. You think you see a figure through the open arched doorway. South down here, well, we've come all this way. I'm, I'm sweating, I'm panting and I'm muddy. I may as well enter the castle, right? Oh, hello. Oh, I got some notification here. I see, she says. This is where I'm going for the job. So now, if you'd just like to surrender your mobile or tablet or cloud, or whatever, whatever idiot machines your kind, my kind, <laughs> very dare you. We shall proceed. There's a bin here, then you can follow me inside. How's it go? Right. Well, she's she's been quite rude, I think, so... How's it going? What is this place? Who's Oswald Mandeas? 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 Leave. Surrender my phone. Throw away phone. <laughs> no, I don't want to throw away my phone, but I also don't want to give her anything because she was quite rude. So, I'm going to ask her, what is this place? I do mean Bunny Hill Castle. That's why I asked Waits for you to answer and interrupts you as soon as you... Oh, she's, she is really rude, this person. It's a beacon of hope to us all. A lighthouse in a sordid and corrupt country. It may be new, but will soon become the past and future combined. Daisy's declamation ends. How she got a name, Daisy? She's so rude. Daisy seems like a name that, for somebody that shouldn't be so rude, but we continue. Daisy's declamation ends with her arms outstretched for several seconds, as if awaiting a round of applause. You cough politely and think of something else to do. How's it going, Daisy? Ah, okay, so we, we now, we, we do have to continue with some of these options, so I suppose I'll go against my wishes of speaking to somebody who doesn't want to speak to me very kindly and ask her, how's it going, Daisy? She regards you with a look of piof. Okay. Is there a button here? So, Crunchy, there should be an option here that says push off chair because I, I would do that right now, I think. Um, very, very rude. Uh, she regards you with a look of pure hate. That's Miss to you. Okay, how's it going, Miss Fluffington? <laughs> Just Miss, she snaps. Daisy shuts her eyes and takes several deep breaths. Remember, she continues, I'm the one who decides whether you get this job or whether your dull scrounging money gets cut off. And a sinister smile appears. I really hope you do get it. Hmm. Let's ask her who Oswald is, because that's popped up a couple of times. Mr. Mandias is a great man. He is the bedrock of this community. Oh, so you like someone. A man of the people and a true visionary. You should consider it an immense privilege to be working for him, even if it will be in an extremely lowly role. <laughs> yeah, crunchy. Well, when you get a bit more time, add an option to push it off the chair, okay? Yeah, <laughs> uh, so... I've asked what is this place, I've asked how is it going, she's told me about, uh, I was going to say Ozzy Mandeas, Mr Mandeas, so the only option I have now is to leave. Okay, 
You walk away from the unpleasant lady, deciding that you have other business to attend to, or maybe you just want to be away from her. South down the hill or into the mill. Let's go back down. You are not at the top, not at the bottom, but halfway up the hill. And they were neither up nor down. Possibilities lurk in every direction except this one. A man bridge lies downhill, a castle looms above, and a metal fence cuts off. So, yeah, the same thing as before. Let's. Let's go clockwise around the hill this time, because if we go south, we're just going to be back where we were. You're halfway up the hill. Can I click on anything? You're halfway up the hill, clockwise from your starting position you hear, but can't see signs of traffic, Traffic. while further down is a football pitch. Ooh, let's have, go for the football pitch. South. <laughs> let's try and do that. You descend to the bottom of the hill to a football pitch that doubles as a swamp. If anything, the land gets worse to the woods in the west, and your sad footwear isn't going to get you anywhere. An almost jumpable looking stream cuts off the side. An almost jumpable looking stream. You try and attempt me into doing a jump up there. Let's go south past the stream. Okay. <laughs> okay. That sounds about right as well. Not very flexible these days, especially with the uh, the lockdown food that's been consumed. Take a long run up and there, then fall on your ass in the mud. At least nobody saw you. Th well, a couple of guys on my stream have just seen me. But the sound of a man snorting with laughter to the east suggests otherwise. Let's go and have a look at the man on the bridge. Because he was that guy from... we noticed before, I guess. <laughs> Sense of direction is poor, yeah. Mine is, uh, I'm trying to stay. The thing with these kind of games is that you have to kind of stay really engaged with the, the position that you're currently at. Um, it's not, because things like this, they don't have a mini map, so you can't just take a look or you can't fire up a full map and be able to see where you've been or where you need to go next or, or even have some kind of map indicator as to where there's some kind of a quest. So I think you have to really... Be intrigued with the story and actually have to have to sit there and pay pay more attention than you generally would um but i agree garen it's um the writing's good it makes you want to go through and play the game some more which which is really good you return to the bridge to see a man in a leather jacket lounging by what you quickly realize to be your only exit he whistles an off-key tune uh crunchy says if you want a clue the letter should have subtly flashed when you spoke to daisy yeah, I, I think I did actually see that, uh, but I'll try to go back to her shortly because I think I did actually select the letter when I was in it. But we'll go back in a second. Look, uh, you know, he whistles an off-key tune and has a languid expression of someone who will stay there all day if he has to. A stream runs from east to west. So let's see who the guy is, shall we? Yeah, he looks he looks a little bit like the guy off um uh, what's his name from Silicon Valley? Uh I can't can't remember it begins with a G. Somebody remind me in in, in the comments. Begins with G, uh Silicon Valley. I'm gonna have to have a look now. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. See if I can get to it before. Ah, there we go. Gilfoyle. So I got there first. Gilfoyle. It does look a bit like him, and I, I can show you from there. So there's Gilfoyle. And there's your guy. <laughs> so yeah, it does look it does look like Gilfoyle. Uh so let's uh let's go ahead and approach the man. You approach the leather-clad man and he nods at you. Nice day for it, he says. Yep, yeah, let's continue. All right, says the man. My name's Robert. Friends call me Big Bad Bob. Big Bad Bob. Ah, okay. Maybe, uh, Crunchy says, maybe he is Gilfoyle. The characters are leaving our uh, stock model. Nah. Yeah, he does look like... I, I don't actually think it is, but it, it does look like him. Uh, friends call me Big Bad Bob. 
It's a bit of a joke, but laughter makes the world go round. That's what I say. I'm head of security around these parts. My names... My names, you begin. I know who you are, and I know you've got an interview now, so why not scootle on up the hill? It wouldn't do to keep old Ozzy waiting. Okay, so... We went there up the hill before, and we didn't get to meet Ozzy. Let's go north again. Let's let's go back up and to the castle. So let's ask her again. What is this place? How does it go in? So am I missing something here, Crunchy? We we have I've gone through the dialogue with Daisy. Um, other than these options, I can't seem to find any more, but uh, the guy that we just spoke to said I should get back here to speak to uh, Ozzy. Let's leave. Ah, okay. Oh, of course I did this before, but yeah, I, I went off it. That's why the um, the highlight went off it before, because I did actually click on it, but then I went out of that, that option. Okay, so do I want to surrender my phone, or do I want to throw away the phone? Uh, well, I don't want to throw it away. No, I don't want her to see it either. Yeah, I'm going to throw it away. Very good. Then we shall begin. Daisy opens a drawer and waves numerous sheets of paper vigorously in the air. This is the application form, the official government approved form. It complies with Interior Ministry guidelines, gender equality and data protection protocols. Declaration of Helsinki and probably the Warsaw Bloody Pact. I can imagine a saying that too, like the Warsaw Bloody Pact. Now, which gender do you identify with? Are you male? Uh, female, transgender, non-binary, or do you simply not wish to disclose such sensitive information? Rips up the sheet. Well, I'm not going to read all that because you'll be bored of my voice. But <laughs> so I can either write my name or I can write Pat McGroin. Let's go with let's go with Pat McGroin. See, we have a comedian. You you do indeed. I used to be a school. Ah, that's why she's she's so nasty because she used to be a oh, yep, this guy. Yes, let me just. So this is gonna be okay. So let's let's follow the man. See where we go. I do actually want to play this game and actually read all of these properly and go through it. But for the purpose of the stream, I'll just try to uh, cut through a couple of the scenes. I like the subtle sound effects you've got going on in the game as well. Like you can just hear the, the, the clock in the background right now. So I'm in the painting. Yeah, let's look at the painting. You wonder up to the painting to get a closer look. I do beg your pardon, says Ozymandias. Do you believe you are a guest in my castle, free to peruse my valuable artworks and trinkets? Your understanding is erroneous. Now go and attend to your duties. Yeah. Rich folk. Rich folk. I'm just going to be off. The second your kind even senses hard. No, nah, it's not about sensing hard work. It's about sensing working for you. You look for the nearest door. Do you see the opportunity? Do you see the glory? Look for the doors all you want. You'll find them locked. Oh, cool, Crunchy. Tamworth Castle. Nice. Uh, yes, maybe you're unhappy now, but you'll thank me later. No, I won't thank you later because I am going to leave. Oh. Can I have my phone back? So I actually threw my phone. So that I'm not sure that option should actually be there. Well, correct me if I'm wrong. 
Uh, but I'll ask him anyway. You mean, can you have my phone back? You did not purchase the... Ah. Uh, Okay, so I actually want to explore this game a little bit more and uh, and play it uh, offline as a game like this should be, so I can actually focus on the uh, the story of the game rather than having to uh, read everything out for for the purpose of the stream. But it's it's a it's a nice idea. Um, the the story seems intriguing. Uh, the art is is minimalistic enough to to just push the story on and let you know what the scene uh what the setting for it is actually like behind the text uh so i, I do appreciate that uh i will actually uh when i play it uh offline i will actually go and he ahead and download the game so that i can actually put it full screen because i don't like looking at a small screen like this myself um the, the the thing that I thought would be an issue with this game, um, which jud only judging by the first couple of um, dialogues that we've gone through, where I actually threw my phone and I didn't give it to anybody, um, and that the option for can you give me my phone back still appeared on there. I'm guessing that the 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 story and the answer tree to this game is quite is quite large. Um, and what you tend to find with with games like this is that that the you can sometimes get lost in the tree sometimes, and one of the responses goes to goes to the incorrect place, which I think uh, looks like it has kind of happened there. And correct me if I'm wrong, but it does look like there is a disconnect from the fact the fact that I threw away the phone to the fact that he's then uh, asking um, Ozzy if he can have the phone back. So. Probably, uh, probably a few corrections needed in the dialogue tree there. Um, but as far as the story goes, it was intriguing. It kept me wanting to go to the next screen, and uh, it didn't make me want to rush through it either, um, which is good for this type of game because you have to keep your bearings about where you're at. Um, because as as Peggy said, uh, the sense of direction is poor. Mine is it's not great, um, but I did still know where I was in the game. Yeah, so if if you if you think Daisy threw my phone in the bin, then does it make sense that I asked Ozzy to give me my phone back? I'm not sure. I guess I'd have to see the um the the way the dialogue went again just to to make head or tail of it if it actually did make sense. But in my mind right now, it it didn't make sense, but it potentially could have done and and i'm talking wrong um but yeah great idea uh nice nice game good story to it and and, and again it's something that i will play this in fact the, all of the games that i've played on the stream tonight have been been re really well thought out and put together um and the the two games that i played before this one in terms of um visual style and art that was used were, were both very very good um gory cuddly carnage was um was really really nice with the the use of the neon um and the controls of the character was really really good the uh the enemies were, were nice they were unicorns but they, they were nice it was good um and then super armand the uh the art to that was really nice um like kind of a, a painted effect um, that was really good. The controller again, the character control. So that, that I always say the secret to a a strong playable game on on any platform, Xbox, PlayStation, PC, even mobile, is that the first place that you should start is the character controller. If you haven't got a strong character controller, uh, the the game fails for me. It's if you've got that strong controller to start with, and that is not a limit of the game then you've got every uh the player's got every means to continue on through the game from there but as soon as you start getting issues with the character like maybe the character gets stuck on things or uh you can't really control him in the air very well or uh hit detection doesn't work very well or, or you know and anything to do with the actual character itself 
as soon as you start getting issues with that, that immediately switches me off from the game and I just want to get out of the game. So uh, the fact that the character controllers of those of the first two games, Super Armand and Gory Cuddly Carnage, uh, were really, really good uh, controllers. It, it it makes the game much easier to play, especially on stream. Uh, and then moving on from the actual uh, fully playable games, we we move we move on to this kind of game where the story is is a really nice story. It's it seems as if it's really well written, and I'm looking forward to getting into more of it. So the three games that I have actually played on stream tonight have been have been really good. I've been really impressed. I hope if I have made any uh, constructive criticism or feedback to to any of you um of any of your, your games that i've played tonight i hope it's been valuable i hope you take something from it um and i'll continue to do these and and put my points across a little bit more and you know as i get more viewers uh feel free to push your games on to me to play again you know if, if there's more levels to it or uh in in your uh, Geran, but if you add more things to the game, maybe you put forward some of the suggestions that I've done and put those into the game. If you want me to review it again, pass it over to me and then we can uh, include it in a future stream. It would be nice to actually track if 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 I've been able to help and you've actually changed anything in, in the game based on my thoughts and what I've done for it. So that'll be really interesting to see. Um, so yeah, I mean, great. I think the stream went well in the end we had a bit of a hiccup at the start it didn't work very well but i think when we got into it it worked really well and i hope you could hear me okay i hope the stream was good i hope you enjoyed it uh and again i hope i hope i hope i hope you uh, join me for my next one and as i say if you haven't already please do go ahead and uh subscribe and hit the notification bell because i am uh I'm trying to push to get 100 subscribers. If you can promote my channel to people on your Twitter or, or anything like that for me as well, that, that would be greatly appreciated. What I'm trying to do is hit 100 subscribers as soon as possible. So uh, YouTube has a, a threshold of 100 subscribers before I'm able to actually uh, give my channel its official name. So at the moment, my channel is youtube.com forward slash a load of characters which means nothing to nobody so uh, i want to actually uh, put my official name in there and i do need 100 subscribers to do that so any help you guys can give me from promotion from that side of things the same as i will do to you guys with your games uh that will be greatly appreciated so oh yes uh, garen uh world of hack and slash yeah i i mean i'm i'm okay to try that let's let's have a look uh but I do want to cut the stream short soon. Uh, let's let's resize this window back to size. World of hack and slash. There we go. There's Gary. Okay, I might actually do another another stream video as well of. Uh, some of these game jam games like actually go through it and I think that would be a nice little stream as well so let me just switch back to the second screen so we can see world of hack and slash friend simulator uh, five minute game okay cool let's go ahead I'm gonna skip the two pound <laughs> Maybe I'll buy you a coffee one day instead, eh? Try and install it. So whilst we're waiting for this to install, was was the stream did the stream keep up quality correct? Was the audio good? Um did we notice any issues during it or do, I mean did people enjoy the stream? Okay, so where is this game? I'm looking in my downloads folder. Hmm. 
Hmm. Can't seem to find. Ah. TK, that's why. Take a look. I think we're here now. I think we can go. Ahead. Hi, man. Hey, man. You want to meet us online? Yeah, sure. Awesome. awesome. Man. Okay, check it out. Okay, see you. Nice promotion oh, of that course. and that. Good. They're probably going to just run off. I swear those guys are out of control. They are just going to Leroy us. Is that your voice, Garen? What was my password again? Hmm. Let me just try anything. Hmm. Let's have a look. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take from the last game. Pat McGreen. Into world. Let's work together, please. No running off. Okay. Oh. Where do I? Ah. Okay. Okay. Mouse operated. Okay. And how do I attack? This is pretty good for, for 48 hours. How do I attack? Okay, let's take a look. Come on, down in. Ooh, boss, 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 boss. Come on, let's get him. Let's get that dragon. No! Oh, yeah. Is there a secondary attack? this dragon again yeah i thought he was there good and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go rage Rawr! rage Rawr! right come on i'm dying here dying 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 I has found bug. <laughs> Do you want to respawn now? Yeah, so you win, okay, as well. So, 48 hour game. That's very, very cool. Need to do all of that within four years. Oh, uh, hey, Wayne, uh, Wazatut. Um, for those that don't know him, Wazatut, uh, he's uh, one of the guys that works uh, at my company. Uh, he does uh, He does Unreal game development. And he's looking to do some Unity development soon as well, which uh, 
we're going to be going over together. Uh, he's got his own uh, YouTube channel as well. Go check him out, Wazza Tuts. He has uh, quite a lot of tutorials on there for uh, some PHP backend stuff as well. So yeah, let's go from that. What was my password again? So again, Garen, uh, forty-eight hours uh, to to complete all of that in a game jam is is uh, it's remarkable, actually. Um, I'm not sure I could actually get much done in forty hours myself, mainly because my work always gets in the way, as as Wazatot's Wayne will know. Um, but forty-eight hours. That's that's a lot to get done in forty eight hours, and the the movement seemed uh, seemed smooth. Um, obviously, if you had more time to do it, you'd have had things like hit indicators, um, different combat styles. Um, yeah, you, you'd have you'd have had a lot more in there. But forty eight hours, really good. And in fact, what I'm going to do is, can I actually? Now, I've never actually done this before, so tell me where I need to go to actually go ahead and vote for for this. So where do I actually go to um, to put my vote in for this? Is voting not open yet for, for the Game Jam? I thought it was. Yeah, the ratings are available. Um, okay. Uh, I must have checked out quite a few games before. Uh, so you have to rate 25 games first before you can select individual. Okay, okay. Ah, right, I see. I can only vote uh, directly from a game if you put... Okay, that's, that's fine. Well, you would have had my vote if I could, so sorry for that. Uh, uh, Wayne was a touch. We, we need to get on this. We need to get on to the, uh, the game jams. I, I did speak about that before, so I'm going to... I'm interested in doing a couple. Uh, and through HIO, there are a ton, as you can see, of different game jams we can join. So as soon as you're ready, Wayne, let's get you onto Unity and we'll do a game jam together. All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna sh stop the stream there. Uh, it's one hour fifty. Um, not not too bad for the stream. Uh, I got through a, uh, through a couple of games, some very good games. Uh, Wayne, it, it'll be beneficial for you to watch them back because there was some really good stuff on there. So if you watch it back, once it goes, uh, I don't know how long it takes YouTube to actually put it live, but if you watch the video back and look at some of the games that I've played on the stream that uh, indie developers have made, that they were really good. Um, so next week, I will, um, I'll will return again and do the same again. So again, if you guys can just... Uh, I don't really want to ask for shameless promotion, but if you guys can promote uh, my channel and stuff just to get me a few more subscribers to get to that um, 100, uh, keep passing your games over to me. I will uh, review and give you some constructive feedback on them. I hope you enjoyed the stream uh, and I will see you all next week.